Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Predator Exotics. We are here today at Sussex Dart Frogs in Heathfield. Um, we have come here because we've actually sold some of our baby dwarf sand geckos, the Stenodactylus Stenodactylus. Um, lovely little setup here. Um, we sold four of them, so hopefully they can find some nice new homes for them. You can see them exploring. It's a lovely setup. They've got the slate that's obviously going to heat up under the heat lamp and retain that heat and radiate it out. Um, they've got loads of digging room, loads of hides. Um, really pleased that they have them. And hopefully we can find them nice new homes. But, of course, the main reason that we are here, uh, other than selling the geckos, is we're allowed to uh, do a store tour for you guys. So we're going to be showing you around, showing you the kind of stuff they have here at Sussex Dart Frogs. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with that. So here at Sussex Dark Frogs, they pride themselves on being 100% captive bred. A lot of it is bred in store as well as from other suppliers. But you can see they've got tons of different dark frog species, um, loads of different tinctorious ones. If we look down here, you've got your common azurias, the blue ones. Um, these are a really nice one. But if you come up here, the, my favorite ones are probably the Alanus. There's that black and yellow. Obviously, I used to keep the Dendrobates leucomelus, but this is the tinctorious. Um, so it's that same colour scheme, but in a bigger dark frog, which is so nice. And if we move even further, the citronellas are a super cool species. That yellow with the black spot on their back. Obviously, some have, you can see the ones that have the one spot. And you've got the one that's got sort of two merged on its head that's nice and different. But an awesome frog, they're gonna get nice and chunky. So these are the Penna Blanca dark frogs. Um, really awesome brown with that. It looks white, but it's almost got like a blue hue to it. Um, really cool. They're going to stay a bit smaller. Um, and something I really like. There's another one behind the cork bark as well. And they blend in so well, but a beautiful frog. So similar to some of the other frog species that we've mentioned on the channel before, we've mentioned the clown frog and the giraffe frog. This is a similar size species with a similar cut color pattern. Um, and it's the hourglass tree frog, a small tree frog species that's awesome. Oh quick, this one's moving about. Such an awesome little tree frog. So we just saw around the corner the Azurius dart frog. This is one of the smaller ones that they've captive bred. It's only a couple months out of the water from the tadpole. And look how small it is compared to them. They're so cute. Obviously they need to get a bit bigger, um, but they can be munching fruit flies and stuff like that. Now, 
and of course they also supply you with loads of different reptile supplies and uh, and aquatic supplies as well um, so of course if you're looking for your logs as well these are actually a couple that we're actually planning on picking up today um, to go in uh, a new enclosure and then of course if you need some live plants for your bioactive they've got a great selection actually there's a few here that i haven't actually uh, seen like this one here um, now of course we're not too sure on like names of plants uh, that's still something we're learning but as you can see they're growing them all up for you keeping them nice and hydrated all ready to buy and ready to go in your bioactive enclosure so in this tank we've actually got the Parodura pictus the madagascan ground gecko uh, we're looking into getting this species it's a really fascinating obviously i've got into the Parodura genus quite a lot this is one of the larger ones um, so we'll show it off i think it's hiding at the moment yeah, we're probably not going to be able to see it. It's in the Exoterra humid hide. This is one that you can put water on the top of and it'll actually create humid hide. Uh, we don't want to disturb it too much, so we'll leave it in there because um, apparently it's a bit quick. Um, but they're a beautiful species nonetheless. So this is another species that we're really interested in. Uh, this is a Hinan cave gecko. It's one of the Chinese cave gecko species. Obviously they're that black with the yellow bands that are really beautiful. Um, and I'm really tempted by this one. Just look at that. The red eyes with them yellow bands. Um, obviously the white bands on the tail, super beautiful species. We've mentioned them on the channel before. They like it cool and humid. You can obviously see them in this humid hide. But the color, even on that yellow, there's, there's phases of orange and stuff. Such a beautiful gecko and something I'm really tempted by. So here at Sussex Dark Frogs, not only do they focus on all the reptiles and amphibians, they actually have a new saltwater tank bit. I haven't been here since obviously the COVID's gone on, um, so we don't come out a lot. They've got all these new marine fish in stock, as well as the live rock and coral. Um, so we'll show you around. Obviously, we don't know a lot about the marine stuff, but we'll show you everything that they've got in store. So guys, that has been the store tour for here at Sussex Dark Frogs. Of course, we'll leave the link down below, so don't forget to go and check them out. Yeah, don't forget to check them out on Instagram as well. they got so much stuff. And don't forget to come here. They're in Heathfield. Um, they've got all your reptile supply needs as well as live food and obviously the dark frogs, geckos, so much more stuff that you can buy here. And now they have our geckos as well, so you can come and check those out too. Uh, especially if you were looking into buying them, of course we, we don't do shipment, but I know that they do local shipment here. Um, but yeah, so this has been the store tour, so we hope you, have, you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram as well, you get all the behind the scenes. But... And don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, as well as subscribing to us here on YouTube. So without further ado, we hope you guys have enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah.